All right, all. What you're looking at is a 200 amp Siemens PN series main breaker load center, 40 space. Right now, the main breaker on the top there, that says 200 amp on the top, is in the off position. What I'm going to show you is this breaker came in this panel defective. There's a mechanical issue in the breaker because right now, all the other circuit breakers are in the off position and I pulled the the utility meter out. So there's no power going to this panel. So watch what I'm about to do. Oh, now it wants to hold. Uh-huh. I turn it off. It doesn't hold. Off. It stays in the trip position. Doing this four or five times, and it doesn't want to hold. So that breaker is defective. Okay, now, I did get a new breaker from my supply house it is in the on position turned it off on off on proper breaker now my fat head might be in the way but i'm going to pull out this main breaker so there is no power currently going to this breaker because i have like i said the utility meter pulled is sometimes the tools don't want to cooperate. Okay, defective breaker out. Here's the new breaker. Should do this. Okay. It'll help to loosen the lugs that hold the wires in place that feed the main breaker. That would help, guys, <laughs> and ladies. Excuse the poor quality of light, but eh, no basement lights considering there's no power to the house. Now remember, this is the first time that it's, I've ever gotten a defective main circuit breaker on any panel I've installed, and I've been doing this just over nine years. And sometimes you get that. All right, now. Land. Doesn't want to go in proper. These also make it easier. And then I'll put them on after I tighten everything up. All right, I'll get that in a second. making sure pulling back out good good all right ah, excellent drop the nut and it happens from time to time the trick is finding it sorry just trying to wrap up the camera view all right Mm. Mm. 
tank. Breaker in the on position, or excuse me, breaker in the off position. Wires in. Tighten the lugs. Lugs are tightened back up. Put the safety plastic things back on. One. And that's two. That's it. I'm going to put these two breakers back in. Right. There we go. That's one. That's two. Now, I have to step away, so there might be about 30 seconds of silence because I want to put the breaker back in first. I don't want to turn everything on and then put the breaker in. Or, excuse me, not the breaker, the meter. I don't want arcing, so I put the meter in, then I turn the main on, then I turn each breaker on individually. I don't want to reintroduce power all at once to the house. And it's also a safety measure as well. So I'll be back in about 30 seconds, folks. All right, it might have been 45 seconds, but I am back. Now I'm going to put the panel cover on first and get everything I need out of there. Oh, light's gone, my apologies. Set the light back up. Sorry, I'm blocking the view. I just want to make sure I am sturdy when picking this up. There we go. Do 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 yeah, da da da. Circuit breakers do have mechanical components, so sometimes you may get a defective one. However, like I said, first time having that problem in nine years.
and with it, whatever you guys do, plumbers, carpenters, not every bet's a thousand. Nine hundred ninety nine is still gets you into Cooperstown for those who enjoy baseball. Okay, now panel covers back on. All six screws are tight. Door opens. Excuse the wires up top. They're old phone lines. All right, now I'm gonna turn the main breaker back on. It held. Mechanically, it's good. Dishwasher. Or my change fan. Bench. Turning one breaker on at a time. Aha! Basement lights just came back on. Heater. Fridge. And finally, for these lovely months in Philadelphia, AC. Done. I am much more comfortable with that, a mechanically sound breaker. This is Tobias Stoutenberg, a.k.a. Sparky1, signing off. Thank you for your time.